could Proxima B be another Earth-like planet? These are speculations everyone keeps making. The search for an alternative habitable planet and alien life on other planets is something that humans are fascinated with. There have been various speculations, and the fact that there have been signals coming from Proxima B makes people believe there is more to it. Despite all these signs, we have yet to determine if these are messages from the planet or just echoes of our own scientists' signals. Often, these signals end up as echoes. In finding out whether these signals are truly from Proxima B, scientists hope to determine if alien life exists. Recently, the James Webb Telescope detected artificial lights on Proxima B. If you're interested in learning about other planets and our progress in finding alternate life, subscribe to our channel. We make content about outer space and talk about innovations in science. If you like this content, comment below and share this video with your friends. Now let's go back into our video. Proxima Centauri, about 4.2 light years from our solar system, is a faint dwarf star classified as G-type. This star is known as Proxima Centauri. It was named Alpha Centauri in 1835 by Johann Burrard, derived from the star's ascension at noon when several celestial bodies like the Moon and the Sun were in a straight line. Proxima Centauri is also known as Alpha Centauri A or Alpha Centauri. It is a single star system with four main stars in a line. Proxima Centauri is at the center of this system. Apart from the four stars, there are two faint dwarfs, Alpha Centauri B and Alpha Centauri C, which make up the bulk of the mass but are too faint to be seen by the naked eye. The system is located 23 light years away from the border of the famous Plow asterism in the constellation of Centaurus. Even though Proxima b is a rocky planet, there is still hope that it might have extraterrestrial life. The search for any other life out there has brought scientists to Proxima b. They believe the similarities to Earth's size and the distance it is from its dwarf star make it a viable option for planets that can accommodate life. While all these are speculations, there's hope there might be some truth. There is much to learn about Proxima b and the orbit it takes, so stay tuned and find out. You can also check out some of our other content related to extraterrestrials. Do you really believe there's another life out there? Leave a comment down below. What fascinates most people about Proxima b is its similarity to Earth. Studies show that Proxima b is an exoplanet that orbits an M-type star. Its mass is considered to be 1.27 times that of Earth. Besides, Proxima b takes 11.5 days to complete an orbit of its star. It was discovered in 2016, and many scientists are looking into it. Even though Proxima b looks similar to Earth, certain features make it uninhabitable. For one, the planet is too close to its star, and as such, it keeps getting extreme ultraviolet radiation from the star. It is estimated to be hundreds of times more than the radiation we get from the sun. This radiation is so strong that it strips away even the lightest hydrogen molecules, and over time, does the same to oxygen and nitrogen. While most people might argue that Proxima b should be habitable because it is also the same distance from its star as Earth is from the Sun, there is more to it than meets the eye. Distance does not consider whether there is water on the planet. There is also no evidence of an atmosphere conducive to living things. The atmosphere on Earth is what makes it habitable and not Mars. The right atmosphere makes it possible for climate regulation and a water-friendly surface. It also shields living organisms from hazardous space weather. If you're with us so far and have not subscribed yet, take a second to hit the subscribe button. It makes it easy for us to keep creating content like this that you'll love. Now, let's look at why people think that the James Webb Telescope will help us figure out if there is life on Proxima b. The James Webb Telescope was launched in 2018 after being delayed since 2011. Many changes had to be made to ensure it gave accurate images during production. Webb explained that if a planet like Proxima b could absorb light from its star, it could also emit it as infrared light. The James Webb Telescope was explicitly designed to observe infrared light. It can take photos of this light on the surface of a planet and look for patterns that might confirm if the planet has water or an atmosphere. One of the reasons why space telescopes are preferred over ground-based ones is that by being above the atmosphere, they don't have to peer through the shifting air to see deep into space. Therefore, they get a better view of what goes on outside the solar system than most ground telescopes can achieve. 
The other advantage they come with is that weather changes on Earth do not affect them, and astronomers can be sure they're getting a clear reading. The only downside to having a space telescope is that fixing it is expensive. If something goes wrong, there have been cases where a small flaw in a space telescope requires a whole mission into space to fix it. Such costs make observing planets like Proxima be difficult. With the James Webb Telescope, we have no option for rescue. It has been launched over 1.5 million kilometers away, further than any human has ever traveled, so rescue missions are not an option. The James Webb Telescope comes with a larger mirror. Because of that, we can see way back to the beginning of the universe, almost 13.7 billion years ago. The further away an object is, the further in time we get to see it. The reason for this is that it takes a while for the light to travel from an object back to us. The ability of the James Webb Space Telescope to see the universe in a longer wavelength in infrared light means we get to see more distant galaxies in our universe with more certainty than was previously possible. Therefore, observing planets like Proxima b has become easier, and it has pushed the light out of the visible range and into the infrared. Tabor and Loeb have a scale of artificial illumination as a fraction of how the sun illuminates and reflects on the day side of the planet. At 0% on the scale, one would assume that the planet's night side is completely dark with no illumination. At 100%, it means that the planet's night side is just as bright as the day side. There has been a hypothetical civilization on Proxima b using this type of light, and most scientists believe it is similar to the early days on Earth. With the spectrum, studies show that if the night side of Proxima b reaches an illumination of 5% of the natural day side, then the James Webb Telescope could detect the artificial light by 85%. If the illumination reached 9%, the telescope would detect up to 95%. Even though 5% illumination sounds like a small number, we're talking about the light from a star as far as Proxima Centauri compared to our sun. We have an illumination that is 20,000 times dimmer, yet we still have a lot of light from our star. This basically means that at 0.1% of illumination, we are still reflected in the stellar illumination. In other words, if Proxima b has any civilization in disguise glowing like Earth, the James Webb Telescope would not detect it the stars would need to be about 500 times brighter. This scenario is impossible since Proxima b orbits so closely to its host star. There is a chance that it might be tidally locked, meaning one side of the planet always faces the star while the other is in perpetual night. A civilization living on a tidally locked planet might need to focus on illuminating infrastructure and use very bright orbital mirrors to reflect sunlight from the day side to the night side of the planet. All these are speculations made by Tabor and Loeb, and there is yet to be proof to show that it is true. The Earth's illumination can be seen from outer space and is known as airglow. Most people wonder why the world is surrounded by bright shades of red, yellow, green, and purple light when viewed from 300 miles above its surface. The airglow happens when atoms and molecules in the upper atmosphere produce light to release excess energy. On Earth, the airglow can happen when atoms and molecules get ionized by sunlight and capture free electrons. The glow seems similar to an aurora, except that auroras are driven by high-energy particles from the solar wind. The airglow is driven daily by solar radiation. Since the James Webb Telescope's launch, scientists have been asking whether it is sufficient to view other planets in faraway galaxies. Even though it is the furthest satellite telescope launched, it still provides very little data needed to find planets with life in other galaxies. As such, there have been conversations about developing bigger and better telescopes. These ventures are often costly and involve a lot of trial and error. The James Webb Space Telescope's launch was five years late due to these issues. Therefore, it is challenging for most scientists to develop better innovations that can be launched further into space. Despite this, the James Webb Space Telescope results are promising. Soon we might know if there is life on Proxima b and other planets. While work is still being done on more telescopes, it is believed that the completion and launch of the Habitable Exoplanet Observatory, HabEx, will revolutionize space study. The estimated completion time of HabEx is 2035, with a launch soon after. HabEx will be sensitive to all planets in the universe. Although its main objective is to search for Earth-like planets, its advanced technology will enable it to measure the spectra of most planets and determine if they are habitable.
Habex is also believed to have a broad range of astrophysics capabilities. This feature will enable Habex to study the earliest possible times in the universe's history, gather information, and understand the life cycles and deaths of massive stars, as well as the elements that support life as we know it. Even though Habex is still in manufacturing, the technology used to make it will allow it to study Earth-like planets at such excellent resolution that the images from these planets will be incredibly clear. Habex will be sensitive to ultraviolet, near-infrared, and optical photos. The concept behind Habex is quite compelling and will change space study as we know it. The concept of Habex sounds ambitious, and if it can be pulled off, space study will indeed change. People can look forward to more information on extraterrestrial life on other planets. It will also provide a better picture of Earth as it can look back many more years before the civilization of the world and the changes that happen with our climate. Lucy's idea is a smaller version of a telescope but still builds on our experience with the James Webb Space Telescope. It has ultraviolet capabilities and is considered the next observatory telescope to be used by most astronomers. Astronomers plan on launching Lucy simultaneously with Habex. The large UV optical Earth surveyor will greatly enhance space study. Test studies done with Lucy show that it will be able to understand what makes Earth stand out from the rest. Several observations have been made of 28 Earth-like planets, and the results have been promising. With such telescopes in manufacturing, details about planets like Proxima b can become clearer. Even though the James Webb Space Telescope has made great strides in discovering new details about Proxima b, there is still much to be done. Better visibility of other planets and the ability to look at atmospheres differently are required to help answer the question of whether there is extraterrestrial life. It also gives a deep insight into the planet's history and looks at the changes that have happened over the years. Ever wonder what would happen if we discovered extraterrestrial life? Worry not, we have videos on our channel that talk about this and much more. Subscribe to our channel and hit the notification button to get notified whenever we post new content. Is there life outside of planet Earth? The conversation about life on other planets has been going on for a while now. Most people believe that we are not alone in the galaxy. There have been theories that have come up and claims that have been ascertained for years. Whether we get to know if we have life on other planets or not depends solely on the kind of research we carry out. For this reason, scientists are working on ensuring that we have more space telescopes orbiting the Earth and other planets. However, they need to be more powerful and look beyond infrared lighting to give us better answers on different planetary life. For now, we watch with bated breath as we hope to see if our brother planet, Proxima b, has any life on it. If you love content like this and want to know more about the James Webb Space Telescope and Proxima b, please subscribe to our channel. We make videos every week, do telescope reviews, and look at the evidence of Earth-like features on other planets as we search for life outside our world. Like this video and leave a comment down below if you believe we're not alone in this galaxy. As the search for extraterrestrial life advances, one of the intriguing aspects is the possibility of discovering biosignatures that could reveal the presence of life on exoplanets like Proxima b. Beyond detecting artificial lights, scientists are also exploring other potential indicators of life, such as atmospheric compositions and chemical signatures. For instance, the presence of certain gases like methane or oxygen, in conjunction with their balance with other atmospheric elements, might suggest biological activity. Another promising method involves studying the planet's surface conditions through remote sensing techniques. Instruments designed to analyze reflected light from a planet's surface can provide valuable information about its geology and climate. By examining these details, researchers can infer whether the planet might have liquid water or other essential components for life. Furthermore, there is growing interest in the concept of biosignature gases that could indicate life. For example, an imbalance between gases like carbon dioxide and oxygen could imply biological processes. Research into these indicators is ongoing, with the hope that future telescopes will be able to detect these subtle yet crucial signs from distant worlds. Additionally, upcoming space missions and technological advancements are expected to enhance our ability to detect and study exoplanets. For example, the development of next-generation spectrographs and more advanced observational techniques will improve our capacity to analyze the atmospheres and surfaces of these distant worlds.